Pomegranates. 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 Uh, pomegranates. Will you offer you something to drink? Uh, I don't drink, Mr. Malden. It might confuse me. Uh, no makeup for me, thank you. Well, I'm not trying to flatter you, but uh -huh. you don't need any. You, you look no. just wonderful. Pomegranates. 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 Uh, pomegranates. Uh, pretty good for my age, huh? Well, I would. You have some secret you can share with everybody? SP. Small portions, small portions, and and exercise, mm -hmm. and um, of course, uh, pomegranate. Leonard, Dick ask? Tracy has scheduled a Zoom call with me, and it's coming up any minute. I've never met the man. I have no idea what it is he wants to talk about. Uh, I'm sitting here and I'm watching this interview that that you did with him 12 years ago, and I'll be honest, I have no clue whether he's trying to be serious. Or funny. Once in a while, you know, well, Shall I come in? Uh, uh, please. <laughs> you know, I, uh, nobody ever went wrong with our friend the blueberry. Pomegranates. 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 They're pretty good for me. So now he's trying to get through well, to you I on a Zoom so. call? Yeah. I'm impressed. Once in a has while, he, uh, has he called you? <laughs> no. No. I, uh, nobody ever went wrong we haven't with spoken in a long time. Not since we shot that interview. Yes, yes. Can we take your hat and coat? Do you mind if I ask what your age is? I don't mind if you ask, but that doesn't mean I have to tell you. <laughs> I'm going to be 107 in no. July. Yeah. Ralph Bird played you. Morgan Conway played you. And of course, Warren Beatty played you. Wondering which of these few things came closest to capturing the essence of the real you? Well, to be quite fair, Mr. Malton, I don't know that it's right to pick favorites. <laughs> I would say, however, that Ralph Byrd did have a wonderful way about him. <laughs> but uh, Morgan Conway was, was also a remarkably good actor, and I always felt that Morgan Conway seemed the kind of man that one could turn to in a pinch. And Warren Beatty? Uh, Beatty was, was uh, he, he was, uh, he, he was fine. Uh, he was no Ralph Bird, I mean, or, or Morgan Conway, for that matter. But I, I will say that the man, he, he looks like me. It's true, they do look alike. But what do you think he wants here? Is he looking maybe to do another interview? I haven't got a clue. That movie of, of Beatty's, um, it gave you a feeling you were in some sort of musical comedy, you know. In fact, there were songs in it actually written for the movie by Sammy Sondheim. Uh, excuse me, Sidney. Sidney Sondheim, Sid, who's a very well-respected uh, uh, Broadway producer. Why, what does he want with me? Why is he, why is he, why is he reaching out? You think he wants to do a, a, another one of these? I can't imagine. I think he would like somebody to tell the story again, the story of his life. In a movie? Yeah, a new movie. Why not? Uh, why not? Warren Beatty's got the rights, right? Still. Mr. Mankiewicz, Detective Tracy's on the Zoom. Should I leave? No, no. Let's see what he's got uh, up his sleeve. Uh, thank you, Dottie. <phone rings> Detective Tracy, uh, so nice to finally meet you. I'm, I'm honored. Uh, thank you. I'm honored to meet you. As you can see, I I'm sitting here with, with Leonard Malton. Good to see you, Detective Tracy. It's been a while. It has indeed, yes. So, so what can I do for you? Uh, good question. Good question. It's nice to see that, that yellow hat and coat. I still don't take off my hat and coat. Nowadays, you just never know when somebody's going to put you on television. <laughs> sure, I, I understand your concern. Just, just so you know, I would never put you on TV w without your approval. Well, thank you. Thank you. I tip it to you. And my hat, that is. You know. People spoke highly about the interview we did. Uh, they found it to be quite unusual. You're a deservedly popular interviewer, you know. Uh, however, uh, I think I could have been better. Better? Well, clearer, you know. I, I, I kind of think I should have been more frank. But uh, I wasn't uh, really used to doing uh, television interviews. But I, I, I do have to tell you, I've come a long way since, since then. I mean, if I want to uh, ever do another interview, I would uh, use film clips that will show what I really feel rather than uh, just 
talk about it, you know? We're, hey, we're all technocrats now. Look at us, we're on Zoom. We're on Zoom all the time. You know, I, I used to think that the high point of technology would be my wristwatch radio. <laughs> um, I tell you, in my interview with you, Mr. Moulton, I think I should have been clearer about how I honestly feel about the movie that uh, Beatty made about me. But first, let me tell you why I called you, Mr. Mankiewicz, because not until yesterday did I happen to see an interview you did some time ago with Warren Beatty, and I'd like to show you a clip from it, if I may, that fascinated me, where Beatty talks about collaboration. Take a look. And by the way, I would have been happy to have someone else come in and collaborate as a director, et cetera. Uh, the, the, the people that I was interested in collaborating uh, uh, with thought that I was out of my mind, and they probably were right. And the, the whole process is a give and take and back and forth. So you, I think if you're smart, you try to surround yourself with people that will uh, tell you when you're full of baloney, or at least when they think you are. And then to have something in what I would have to call the dialectic that would allow discussion and um, difference of opinion that could be handled in an amicable uh, way. I've always believed in, in the collaborative uh, process in making a movie. I've always managed to, to put together a, a group of people, both the actors and, uh, and in the uh, cinematography and the, uh, and the costumers and the uh, uh, production design, etc. People who basically are capable of directing also, you know? We're all capable of directing, really. Do you see yourself uh, making another movie? I say that hoping that the answer is yes, but respecting that the answer is I don't know. Well, I would say uh, I don't know, but yes. Okay. That's good. I have to say, I, I was pleasantly surprised at how Beatty seemed to be so much more respectful of other people's opinions than I had mistakenly assumed that he was. He, he never expressed any interest in my opinions, and uh, that interview you did with him, Mr. Mankiewicz, is very enlightening. I, I'm, I'm sorry I never saw it till yesterday. <laughs> uh, uh, thank you. Did you tell Beatty you were impressed? What did he say? Well, uh, we, 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 don't, uh, we don't talk. You never talk? Well, uh, no. You mean you're not on speaking terms? Uh, well, I, I guess you could say that. I'm, I'm sorry to say. So, did the two of you have a falling out? Uh, I guess you could say that, yes. But why? Just something that happened. Well, it, it goes back, way back. In retrospect, it seems sort of silly. I, 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 uh, I regret it. Well, you know, I, I regret it. He, he just uh, never bothered to show up for a very important meeting that I had set up, and uh, yeah. What was the meeting about? I guess uh, you might say it was about the seriousness of movies. So the seriousness of movies was something you disagreed on? Well, uh, uh, justice. Justice is, uh, is serious. Crime does not pay. That's, that's serious. Nobody's above the law. Fighting gangsters, that's serious business. Uh, uh, l l let me show you some uh, stuff from the original trailer uh, of the Beatty film. I'm calling. Hi, ma'am. Well, little face. Hmm. Uh, I'll just pause it here for a second. Well, uh, that, that, that's a, a, a very impressive uh, makeup job, but I, 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 I might have done it a little differently. And this is just not believable. Hey, well, it, it, this is uh, quite a, a beautiful shot, but uh, I, my own feeling is that it, uh, they, well, they're beautiful paintings I, I perfectly nice I I mean these are over the top uh, well I, I I understand you know the suspension of disbelief uh, but uh, yeah. Pat, bring in flat top and itchy Sam get these fingerprints flat top and itchy no, no I, I, I want this is good this is, this is good this is fine and this is fine too this is good and nice that's good there's that, the phone that's 
No, 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 I, no. Well, this is, well, I, 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 I don't even know what to say about this. You like walnuts, don't you, big boy? I love them. A lot of people like walnuts. They're good for the liver. Yeah, but they're bad for the brain. Excuse me, walnuts are good for the brain. But now take a look at this. I mean, this is good. This is, this is good. This is good. Uh, but I don't know. Take a look. Take a look. Oh, Sam, get him! No, no, I think I would have done this a little differently. I mean, why would I jump onto the roof of a car? And this is a bit much. Not the way I would have done it. Uh, and this? Oh, my goodness. Oh, please. And his hat doesn't even come off? Seven guys with one punch. Seven guys with one punch? I'm flattered that Mr. Beatty thinks I could knock out seven guys with one punch. Now, just look at the color of these streets, huh? I mean, pink? I mean, pink? It's pink street? Please. I mean, what is it? What is it? A red street? What, what, what's he going for? But at least it's better than pink. That's a lot of reds, even for Beatty. Very pretty, pretty colors. Uh, but, but, what, what, what's, what's the point? That it's not real? Uh, what, what? <laughs> this is, this is. Uh, let us just say this is uh, wildly inaccurate. To, okay, I, fine. Well, I think that. Uh, Fighting uh, crime is not nearly this lighthearted. But... Now tell me, how seriously can you take this? Well, my friend, spring is here. Back in business and ain't it grand. Good times. I've never quite thought of fighting crime as a musical comedy. I mean, just look at this. I don't want to be uh, disrespectful, but th this is not, this is not serious. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Fighting crime is serious. One, one of the things that I stand for is teaching people that crime does not pay. But I don't know, uh, sometimes Beatty seems to be saying that crime does pay. No, 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 no. No, it's, it's, it's. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. No, it's, it's, it's. That's, no, that's, that's not good. Now, let's compare that to this, all right? Okay, now take a look at these clips. Here's Ralph Bird. He knew how to play me. Yes. I just don't know if Beatty would be willing to do that. Here's Morgan Conway. He knew how to play me, too. He knew how to do it. That is serious. Come on, on your feet. Good. Now that is what it takes to fight crime. <laughs> with Ralph Bird, none of the seven guys with one punch baloney. Well, I believe that. And I believe that. Yes. Very, very well done. Very well done. Yep, very well done. It's... It's quite a difference. Yeah. Yes! Now, how great is that, huh? Morgan Conway, Ralph Bird. I believe that. It's... 
I've got to find out who robbed that payroll truck. Yes. Who are you shielding, Johnny? I gotta get out of here. This is a serious subject. I know you're there. Come out. Yes. The, the, yes. 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 But remember. But now take a look at this. There are no rules in the game of justice versus crime. Exactly. All criminals are rats. rats. Should be treated as Your call is on the Zoom, Mr. Malton. Your training is just beginning. Now it's up to you. Work hard, train hard. Because when you're a full-fledged agent, you'll have to fight hard. Ralph Bird is inspiring. There's just nobody like Ralph Good Bird. Night. I mean, Ralph Bird, Ralph uh, Bird was... Detective a- Tracy, um, sorry, may we put you on hold for a minute? Uh, hello? Uh, hello. 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 Uh, are you there, sir? Uh, what, I, uh, I'm, I'm here. Is it, who is that? Is that Ben Mankiewicz? It is indeed. Oh, how are you? Fine, uh, thanks. Oh, Leonard, how are you? It's been a while. I have an old friend or, uh, acquaintance of yours here. Oh, really? What? Who... Uh, yes, uh, we haven't spoken in a while. Detective Tracy, how are you? Uh, I'm fine, Mr. Beatty, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> Long time no see. Or here. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, I, I guess if you don't show, you don't hear. <laughs> show? Show up. You never showed up at the polo lounge. The polo lounge? Are you... What are you talking about? I, I, I called. I, I called the polo lounge. Are, are you telling me the polo lounge didn't tell you that I called and said I couldn't make it? Uh, uh, let, let's not talk about it, huh? Okay. I, 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 I don't get it. What's, what's going on here? I, I didn't place the call. I, uh, um, that was me, Warren. I placed the call. Warren, uh, Leonard and I happen to be on a Zoom call today with Detective Tracy, and he has just spoken very positively about the interview you and I did a few years ago that he'd never seen until yesterday. Yeah, I, 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 I felt that was a good interview. You were very articulate regarding the value and necessity of collaboration. That, that's true. I, I was surprised, and, and uh, well, I, I was impressed. You know, I, I mean, somehow I had always assumed that when you made the movie about me, you you didn't really want anybody interfering. Well, collaborating isn't interfering, it's contributing. So we called you, Warren, because actually everybody wonders why you never made another Tracy movie. Am I right, Detective Tracy? Well, I had always assumed that maybe Mr. Beatty wasn't very interested and didn't want to do... Anything. (laughs) Uh, I mean, he has controlled the rights for a thousand years. Wait, 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 wait. (laughs) I'm old, but I'm not quite that old. But, uh, hey, you're even older than I am. You you got famous in 1931. I I didn't get famous till the late 1950s, okay? (laughs) Let me ask you, does that mean that you feel I'm too old to do new things? Well, I didn't... I didn't say that. What's going on? Or what, what new things are you talking about? You thinking about making a movie? I don't know what to think about making movies nowadays. Maybe, maybe another movie's a good idea. I, uh, you know what? I, I, I think you've produced some really good movies. They were special. And you were quite good in them. But come on, in those movies, you never had yourself knocking out seven guys with one punch like you did in the movie about me. I mean... Come on, seven guys with one punch? If I'd been collaborating with you, I would have fought you on that one. Do you think another movie about me could be a a little more serious? Serious? Like how? Not so many pretty colors. Ah. You mean uh, more real, huh? Treating crime like it's a a serious subject. Uh, A little less like a painting or a musical comedy, you know? (laughs) Uh, maybe make the bad guys look more like real people? I mean, you didn't make me look unreal. Oh, by the way, I want to thank you for that. In fact, 
I, th I think you look too good to play me. <laughs> I don't look that good. Well, I think you look fine. We could argue about that. By the way, if you ever do make another movie, I think maybe it'd be good for you to have somebody you can argue with. You say you don't know what to think about making movies now. Well, that's because things have changed so fast. People want to watch movies at home and put them on pause so they can use their cell phone, so they can break for dinner, so they can go to the toilet, so they can treat movies like books, so they can look at them, put them down, pick them up later. They don't want to have to drive to a theater. They don't want to have to park their car. They want to look at whatever they like whenever they want to look at it. Yeah, sure, sometimes they'll take the trouble to go to a theater and see a movie on a big screen, fine. But I say, if you're thinking about making another movie about me, do you think you might just make it a little more real? Not with pink and blue streets. Keep the musical comedy schemes, but only in nightclubs, not on pink and blue streets. And if you want the bad guys to be ugly, fine, but make them look real. And if you want to do another movie about me, you might want to have somebody you trust enough to argue with who actually knows about me. And would you think about maybe getting somebody a little younger than you to play me? But I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe I should be played old by somebody who's able to do things old people can't ordinarily do. <laughs> and you know, maybe it's better as a series. That's how we started in 1931 in the funny papers. Hey, it'd take a lot of discussion. But there's a lot of things that take a lot of discussion. And as you said yourself to Ben in your interview, collaboration is key. It's mandatory. But to collaborate, you need somebody you can trust enough to argue with. You, you've got the final say. You own the rights. So, you know, uh, every once in a while we could have a pink street. Yes, Dick Tracy Returns, produced by Dick Tracy. Now, I'd pay to see that. Lunch tomorrow, 1 o'clock. Polo Lounge? Polo Lounge. Deal? Deal. Done. Yesterday it seemed the world was about to end. Dignity, as though it wouldn't last half a year. Yesterday disaster waited around the bend. Well, my friend, spring is here. Back in business and ain't it grand. Oh, yeah, good times old. Yesterday. Smile again, didn't it? Didn't matter what we mentioned or how.